Unfortunately, most of us end up getting injured at some point in our lives. Recovering can involve long periods of limited mobility, dealing with pain and restricted movement, and possibly having to use crutches to get around. The Alexander Technique can be really useful for helping you to make a full and speedy recovery and to avoid developing other problems as a result of your injury. I'm Pete Robinson from movementposture.com. I'm an Alexander Technique teacher and I release new videos each Sunday to help people learn the Alexander Technique to improve their posture, movements, health and performance. Subscribe and ding the notification bell if that's the type of thing that you're interested in. In this video, I'm going to share two Alexander Technique tips to aid your recovery and then I'll show you how to apply Alexander Technique to using crutches. The first tip is about pain. When we feel pain, it can often trigger a whole pattern of tightness and rigidity through our body. This not only doesn't help with the pain, but it makes it likely that other bits of our body will also start to hurt. For example, if I have a broken ankle, you may see a pattern of tension including my face, my shoulders, my arms, my abdominal muscles, my hips, etc. etc. For most people, this tension goes unnoticed. But by deciding to stop this unconscious reaction to the pain, you can make a huge difference to yourself. If you feel pain now, give it a try. Recognise the location of the pain, but also become aware of where the pain stops. Then question whether you've been tensing or compressing yourself in those places that aren't hurt. I often find it useful to start by noticing where you're being supported by the ground and deciding to release your weight through this point. Then you can work upwards from that place and bring your attention to each part of your body. Simply decide to not tense each area and allow freedom of movement in each joint. The second tip is about your coping mechanism. When a part of your body is injured, the rest of your body adjusts to protect the injured parts and to find ways to still move around and do things. The problem here is that sometimes these coping mechanisms become new habits and persist long after the injury is healed. Going back to my example of someone with a broken ankle, to get around and protect the injured leg, the person may end up limping, which causes a twist of the pelvis, tension up the side of the body and a raised shoulder. If this way of moving is used for several weeks while the ankle heals, there's a danger that it will become a habit and it will not fully return to normal by itself. If we apply the Alexander Technique to this scenario, then we would minimize the negative effects of coping with the injury by prioritizing maintaining a whole awareness of ourself and as much as possible, keeping good alignment and balance and freedom while we work out how to move with the injured part. This will hopefully allow you to find the coping mechanism that has the least negative effect on the rest of your body. But because you're also prioritizing awareness and balance, it will be easier to adapt as the injury heals, and then you'll be able to return to a good body use, maybe even better than before you were injured. I'll link to a video above that may help with developing a good standing posture. And finally, some help with crutches. The key here is to remember what would be the best way to stand and move if you weren't using crutches. You would want to be aligned over the support from the ground, releasing your weight down through the body and not compressing or fixing yourself anywhere. Exactly the same thing applies to using crutches. I stand in balance on my good leg using the crutches to aid stability, but not take any weight yet. Before I transfer weight into the crutches, I become aware of my whole self and prioritize balance and mobility. Then I move up and over the crutches, transferring my weight down through them into the ground and swing through, sticking to the idea of not compressing myself. It really helps to take fairly small steps with the crutches as it makes it much easier to maintain balance. And here's how you don't want to use crutches. Taking too big a step, tensing my body to lift myself rather than transferring the weight through the crutches into the ground, compressing my shoulders forwards, upwards and inwards, pulling my head back and compressing my spine. 
and not returning to balance at the end of the step. I hope that all makes sense. It's really pretty simple and it's reinforcing the points that I make in most of these videos. If you're going to be recovering for a while, maybe invest some of the time into developing these Alexander Technique skills. That way you may actually get something positive from this unfortunate experience. I'll link to a playlist above now with a few suggestions of videos that may help. I hope you have a speedy recovery. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions for a video topic, then please leave them below. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.